In this video, we're going to be looking at the financing activities area of the statement of cash flows. And the financing activities of the cash flows concentrates on the capital in a business. And the capital in a business is pretty much all of the long-term liabilities uh, that involve our creditors and our equity. So our cash inflows from financing is going to revolve around that capital structure. It's going to be when we issue new shares of stock uh, that will be purchased by outsiders, our new owners, and or when we go outside of the business to borrow money. So we have from our shareholders uh, inflows relating to the paid in capital and from our creditors we have debt borrowings and our outflows are going to relate in the equity area to the payment of dividends to our shareholders and to the repurchase of shares of stock by the corporation. Corporations frequently buy back stock for a number of strategic reasons. Uh, we'll take a look at more of that uh, in intermediate three, and we'll also be discussing that in finance classes. And finally, the repayment of the principal amount of the debt from borrowings. Remember, here it's important that the interest payments related to these debt is reported in the operating activities area. So principal is reported in financing, interest in operating. If you have an installment note like a mortgage, well, each payment is going to be breaking out, broken out into two activities. The repayment of the principal portion of the payment will show up on the financing activities. The interest portion of the payment will show up on the operating activities. So let's take a look at Lowe's Corporation. Uh, they break up their financing into two groups. The first one involves the debt portion of their capital structure. The first involves short-term borrowings. And here they have decided to net the borrowing and repayment. So they're showing a net decrease. Well, whenever you see net, that means you're going to have some repayment and you're going to have some borrowing. So here they decreased their short-term debt in the previous year. It's gone unchanged pretty much in the current year. Next, they present long-term debt. And here they're showing a net proceeds. Well, there was some repayment, but there were more borrowings than repayment. Well, I, I take that back because they been in a separate line here for the repayment of long-term debt. So these are their borrowings. Uh, net, I can say, the net proceeds are going to be the actual amount borrowed minus any fees related to it. So that's why they're talking about here, this being a net proceed. And then we have the repayment of long-term debt. And again, it's important to remember, this is principal only. Interest is in the operating area. For our equity uh, portion of our capital, we have the issuance of some common stock. This wasn't done to the general public. This was to uh, offices and employees under a share-based bonus plan. So our uh, management was compensated in the form of stock. Uh, when they receive options, uh, they pay a certain amount that is below market. Well, what they pay will show up here in the statement of cash flows. We have the payment of cash dividends, and then we see this rather large amount for the repurchase of stock. Uh, this is something that many companies um, do uh, in order to uh, achieve some uh, strategic goals. And again, we'll talk more about that in Intermediate 3. We then total up our amounts 
and this will be the net cash used in financing activities. Uh, this amount can be positive, this amount can be negative, uh, as it is here showing more cash going out than coming in. Depending on the life of the company, in the early stages of the business, you expect there to be more financing coming in than going out. As the company matures, they will use cash flow from operating activities for either investment purposes or to buy back shares of stock or repay long-term debt. And the net effect here is something very interesting. You can see that Lowe's Corporation took out significant long-term debt at the same time was repurchasing the stock. So they're shifting their capital structure away from equity to debt. And this will involve financial leverage. Again, a concept that you may have heard about, but you definitely will be hearing about in later classes. And again, something that the users would pay particular attention to. And we wrap up our statement of cash flows with this reconciliation. Remember, the total of the three activities, operating plus financing plus investing, will give us our net increase or decrease in cash. The current year lows had an increase. Two years ago, they had a decrease. Does that mean that Lowe's was in trouble now? Again, uh, they had sufficient cash flows, uh, sufficient cash reserves, uh, but over the last two years, they have taken up their cash from 245 million all the way to 652 million. So like many companies uh, in the current financial situation, they're building up cash reserves, not spending as much money on new business opportunities. So that's the statement of cash flows, important statement. And we'll be coming back and reviewing in much greater detail in Intermediate 3.